I'm here in Sun City, South Africa. It's been called the Lost City, but we are anything but lost because we have found exactly what we've been looking for. At Camp LFS, the athletes will spend time with host and martial arts expert, Michael Jai White. They will have specialized training sessions with him, learn, reflect, and observe one another, and ultimately prepare for the South African LFS Championship in Johannesburg on the 15th of October. So, who will win? Who will conquer? Who will be the last fighter standing? Hundreds of fighters heeded the call. Many came, many saw, but in the end, only 16 conquered. They are the creme de la creme of South Africa's fighting fraternity. They come from the four corners of Mzansi. Top athletes, fighters, warriors, every single one keen to stake his claim for the title of last fighter standing South Africa. They are on their way to Sun City for the inaugural Camp LFS. Some have met before. For others, this is the first time they lay eyes on each other. Some will become long-lasting friends. Others will be adversaries for life. Meet C. Kubone. He's from Durban, a Muay Thai fighter with years of experience. I went to Thailand to do Muay Thai. Their training is different, very, very different. Different from karate, MMA, it's brutal, it's crazy. Here in Devon, almost all Devon knows I'm a very, very dangerous when it comes to standing. Very, very dangerous. I eat, I sleep, this sport. The Durban lightweight final was between C, the destroyer Kubone, and Warren, the Wolverine Richard. C's superior fitness proved to be the clincher in this epic lightweight confrontation. Stop. Josh Ignatovic made a spectacular entry into LFS. Mixed martial arts definitely was my first choice. You know, martial arts teach you a lot of discipline. My punches are quick, you know, I like to throw quick punches, uh, uh, if I can, in, out. No doubt. To all fighters out there, they're gonna know that uh, Zeus is coming to get that LFS title. In his first prelim fight, he showed Elaine Kulenfuka exactly what he could deliver. Next, he continued to amaze in his fight against Tyler McMurtle. However, the real challenge came in the form of Cristiano Ndombase, the warrior of fame. He tested Josh on all levels, but Josh proved more than worthy. Christian Bobo Mbia, hailing from the DRC. When I was seven old years, I, I was a wrestling fighter. I started my wrestling when I was a kid. So you know how to start sports young is good. When I come in South Africa, I start my boxing. I get good and I, I see I can win. I'm going to be LFS champ because I believe on God and I believe on myself. And His big challenge was Kulegani, the strong man from KZN. Would Christian's humorous antics play in his favor? Alephis also attracted kickboxing legend Tommy Stradom. I actually started when I was six years old. My mom and my dad got me to the kickboxing because I was a very active boy. When I was a little boy, my first essays that I've won, um, we didn't believe that I'm going to win the fight. But at the end, uh, 
I was punching the boy around in the ring and his mother stopped the farts at the side of the ring. August Kayambala proved to be a worthy adversary. A well-placed guillotine from Tommy sealed the deal and the place in the finals. Bonmi Ojiwale is a female fighter with a strong Brazilian jiu-jitsu influence. Um, so I'm a medical doctor by trade. I'm training to be an orthopedic surgeon one day. So um, yeah, if I break bones, I can fix them. Um, there's a mutual respect in the martial arts community. Um, so you never underestimate your opponent. In the Durban featherweight finals, she faced off against Nokwanda Mazibuko. Both ladies showed true determination and grit, but in the end, Bonmi was the worthy victor. Rudolf the White Lion van Heerden hails from one of SA's top fighting families. My 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 fighter is and in the beginning shall I see you. Look, I shall see what the type of fighter is. This time is 30 seconds in the first round to my auto swim. I know what the fighter is and in the second round I'm going for my favorite out. And that's a knockout. Corey van Veek fought his heart out, but eventually fell prey to the White Lion's experience and old school boxing style. My name is Rizal Mohammed and I am a kickboxer. I was introduced to kickboxing through a family friend. I've been doing it for 10 years and I've loved it ever since. I'm a potential Alephis champion because I never give up and I'm extremely tenacious. Keegan Roots, a mixed martial artist with a strong kickboxing background, all the way from the bluff, Durban. My most powerful weapon is not necessarily my hands and my legs, but it's my brain. My favorite move is the anaconda choke. My biggest achievement, I would say, has been selected for the South African team to represent South Africa in Las Vegas. Keegan's qualifying fight was against Fani, the Viper Prince Lou, which Keegan won comfortably with his signature move, the anaconda choke. Quentin Rousseau is a heavyweight newcomer with immense potential. My favorite move is a back kick or a spinning heel kick. Quinton's first fight was against fighting stalwart Pete Mutaung. From the onset, this was a difficult one, but Quinton stayed calm and collected while chipping away at Pete's defenses. His second prelim fight was against the giant from the Congo, Triple H Jikasa. Quinton was in a tight spot, but an unexpected flurry of hard punches sealed both men's fate. Meet Gunta, the unbeatable beast in Gunza. I'm going to, to sports because my father, uh, when I was young, was say, uh, when you want to live in my house, you support to go to church, to go to school, and to exercise. So uh, that, that is why make me uh, a great sportsman. Damien Schultz put up a very brave fight, but in the end, Gunther qualified for the LFS Championships. Dr. Tabani Mdebela, he hails from KZN. 
From eight to four, I'm a doctor. After that, I'm a fighter. One of my strong points is my superior fitness. I train Monday to Sunday. I do a minimum of uh, four to six hours a day. In his first Pretoria prelim, Tabani dished out some unpleasant medicine to Jean Bezadenhout. In the next fight, Charles Herter stood in line for his dose of anesthesia. Down, there's excitement in the air, and all of the athletes are keen to get Camp LFS going. Rushta Malik, stuntwoman and fighter of note, hails from Cape Town. I started out as a Muay Thai fighter about eight years ago, and then uh, some boxing manager saw me shadow boxing in the gym one day, and he's like, Why don't you do boxing? And I didn't really want to do it, and I was kind of forced into it. Then I fell in love with boxing, and I've been boxing ever since. I think my level of striking is way higher than any of the girls in this competition. The number one ranked boxer in South Africa. So I think that my striking will they'll be very difficult to handle in the ring. Rushta's qualifying fight showcased her quick, vicious strikes. <laughs> Brandon love tap free. Ek is nie agressiewe type nie. Ek is baie humble persoon. Voel baie humble om om in hierdie game te wees. Dat sê ek meer van 'n retaliated fighter. Wat vir my opponent en counter attack. Proud of since I started kickboxing 17 years ago. I've been representing South Africa. I've been in the national and and presidential squad. Opportunities they I take it whether it's an elbow or knee, uh, whether it's in the clinch. Distance striking, obviously my feet's quite potent, so I like using my legs. The Joburg prelims proved to be a humdinger when Scott Valentine faced Brandon Faree in the welterweight finals. Away from Cameroon, we give you Clotilda Junior Essiane. I'm powerful and I have a very good technique. I'm a potential LFS champion because I'm the stronger one and I'm a better fighter than anybody else. Up to walk the plank was Ansi Fanamerva. Matilda's superior punches proved too much for a very brave Hansi. Alan Starkiller Smith is the new kid on the block, but make no mistake, he's here to win. I get begin met martial arts grad seven. I was a bit mollerig, nierarig, was slag in my pot to make me feel om te begin met het. And from there, it wasn't an addiction for me. And during each fight, God gives me the um, motivation, the strength, everything that I need to fight. That's why I barely lose. In his third bout, he came up against Rocky Commander Man Ilunga of the Congo. Affair with Alan winning by a split decision. I don't so I was hard, but I was fair and square. Soros Khrobla, a legend in fighting circles, competed in the Cape Town LFS prelims. When I fight, my name is the Guru. I love using whatever my opponent allows me to use, uh, whether it be nice little punches, kicks, elbows, knees. We mix them up and we use them as the, as the need be. Uh, this is heavyweight division, so you know it's over 100 kilograms that you rock on full year. In his second Cape Town prelim, Soros was up against bodybuilder and Muay Thai fighter Richard van Bergen. Question on everyone's lips, does experience trump power?
congratulations, I want to say first. I will help you with your techniques, impart some of the things that I've learned, and we're going to have fun doing it. I'm here to help you overcome yourselves, and we're going to push forward into new areas of learning and experience. All the time that we're spending together, you're going to be growing as fighters and as people. But I want to say congratulations and, uh, and the fact that you guys are already winners. Camp Battlefest, is, it's, it was awesome up to now, and it's enjoyable for everybody. I knew this was going to be big, but I didn't thought it was going to be this big. To make the athletes feel at home, they get a spa treatment and massage. Most of these fighters look upon their bodies as their weapons, honing them, tuning them, but spoiling is sometimes last on the list. They took us for a spa treatment. It was amazing. I had a massage. It's just what I needed. Feeling really good and relaxed after the spa treatment. Um, yeah, I massaged out all the knots. So it was just what I needed. Yeah, I'm feeling fabulous. Hey, wake up. Manicures and facials. It's an interesting story to do. Even if I get facials, I'm still a good fighter. But it wasn't just going to be pampering and cucumbers on the eyes. The first formal training session with Michael Jai White was about to begin. All right, guys, gather, gather around. There's something I'm seeing that's consistent between everybody. All right, now watch. Now, a lot of us that have power naturally, you're going to have powerful punches. Granted. But when you put technique on top of it, the power is ex ex exaggerated. One of the things I'm seeing is that a lot of people are kicking like this. Well, um, Michael is an amazing person. He's got a lot of knowledge on martial arts itself. What he talks to us about, what he discusses with us, it makes sense. It's, it's adaptable for all sorts of um, martial arts. It was always this kick of Michael J. White, even in movies. It's up here, right? It's just with the knee. Ooh. Oh, you're, you're, I'm sorry, you okay? And he told me how to do it, and I'm working on it. Okay, okay, let's take it. All right, but, but, no, but. I was that I learned a lot, and the knowledge I'm bringing back home to Devon. The whole thing is, don't commit your hip. You have to be here. And then, let your hip go, and not, not, not swing up, go out. So you know, learning from Michael J. White, going back and working all my techniques, as he says. Me, no, me has to stay. Nope. No, no, it has to stay here, right? It has to be. He teach me nice jab, best kick, oh, and nicely, you know, that stuff. I must work on it. This, Ooh. see? Yes. It, because my, my, my knee yeah. and my hip is not engaged yet. I'm not gonna kick it, I'm not gonna kick it. But it's here. See, look at this. This looks like nothing. See? It looks like nothing. It looks like I just lifted my leg. After the break, the LFS fighters help fix up a local school and continue their preparation for the championship finals. One of these tasks the fighters had to fulfill, and one that is close to my heart, was giving back to the community. It wasn't always just about themselves. The athletes also gave back to the community by helping to fix and paint a school from the nearby area. Looks like the talented fighters might struggle to put children's toys together. There's the other hole in there. Wait. Take it out. No, no, it must stay. Sors and the guys are battling with that plastic kitchenette. The truth we don't, we don't read instructions. We will not submit to that. 
Hazır, okay, put it in. You got to lick it or you stick it. Put it in. Put it in. You'll find a piece like this and you'll move over. Yeah, you can do it like that, yo. Just go mark. Pink beard, how would I look with a pink beard? There's your pink. Interesting. There's your pink. You're going to do that? You're going to have to do a fight. Wax on, wax off. Easy. No, 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 I've got too much hair in my face, my man. <laughs> All your case fighters, I'll invite you for a whole lot of in my house. <laughs> I'll buy the Anna so you can come play my house. I must say, not only was that a great deed, but it felt really satisfying seeing the look on those children's faces today. A big thank you to our sponsor, Generosity Water, as well as the fighters, in bringing some sunshine into those children's lives. Later at dinner, Michael Jai White shares some of his secrets and wisdom regarding martial arts. You look at Wonder Boy Thompson, where he moves forward and, and he hits the target at the end of the move. That's, Bruce Lee did that. He yeah. was just constantly moving in angles and setting up and, and executing all of it perfectly. Yeah, well, even my aunt could tell you, whoa, that guy's, that, that's a bad dude. She's not, she doesn't, she, my, my aunt or anybody wouldn't understand. You know what, he doesn't telegraph. You know, your, your eyes just see something that looks real all of a sudden. He, he, a guy winds up, Bruce Lee beats him to the punch. Yes. Bruce Lee! Look at him. He doesn't telegraph. You sit with a true martial artist and him just mentoring us and guiding us and giving us little tidbits of information and tips. Um, you are never good enough to stop learning. The inaugural Camp LFS comes to an emotional end. The athletes bid farewell to Michael Jai White with a mixture of sadness, but also keen to go home and practice their newfound wisdom and techniques. The next time they see each other when they meet for the LFS Championship Finals in Johannesburg. Who will win? Who will conquer? Who will be crowned the last fighter standing? I have truly enjoyed Camp LFS, and it's been a pleasure to help the fighters get ready for the South African Championship Finals. The fighters are ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, South Africa, for one of the most exciting events you'll ever get to watch?